mind, if we look here, we can also set the uh, template here. So if you want to set a certain, if you want to change the uh, template itself, you go to template. And what, what Zoops recommends is that you clone your template. We can set this to, for example. And then we go back to template set manager. And then uh, what we will do is that we will go back to uh, user preferences, uh, edit. And then we go to down here to check um, tem uh, default template set. We're going to click this arrow down here, and we're going to use two. And we're going to check templates for modifications. Click the yes there, and then go down here and click go. And then we're going to go back to our, uh, our um, templates link here. And no notice that the check mark, instead of earlier being up here, is now down here. The advantage of this is that now you can list your uh, second set of templates. And if you ever decide to change anything in the second set of templates and you make a mistake, you can always revert back to the uh, initial default template by going into Preferences and General Settings. Uh, here. So if you want to change anything in your templates, for example, you go to there and then you can choose whichever template you would like to edit. So, for example, um, we can click anything. For example, site info, maybe. It doesn't really matter what we click. But, uh, so, for example, we click edit, and here you can start to edit some things if you want to, and then submit to click your changes. So, 